Have you ever thought about going commando? Here's everything you need to know before dropping your drawers. Underwear is a critical part of your wardrobe. They can be pesky little things, but you need them for all the right reasons. Serving as the base of your outfit, a clean and quality pair of underwear can protect your private body parts from rubbing against coarser garments, prevent indecent show-through, and inspire you to dress with confidence and with competence. Aside from keeping you comfortable and dry throughout the day, shaping undergarments such as sculpting briefs and seamless bodysuits can accentuate your body's natural curve and help you get into shape. Given the importance of underwear, we are all expected to leave our houses with undergarments on. Having said that, it's not uncommon to bump into people who choose to do away with underwear to steal the show, like what Bella Hadid and Rihanna did on the red carpet. Even though going commando is frowned upon in many cultures… okay, wait, no, not that kind of commando, seriously. It is increasingly the preferred course of action for many people. What? No underwear? You heard that right. In fact, a fifth of Americans prefer to forego underpants entirely, according to a survey conducted by Vanity Fair and 60 Minutes. I'm not even wearing underwear. <laughs> Great. Turns out, numerous benefits come with going natural. Underwear inflicts a weighty and tight-fitting feel on your skin, so ditching it will make your skin feel more comfortable and give your sensitive areas a little space to breathe. Particularly undergarments made from synthetic materials such as microfiber, nylon, polyester, rayon, and spandex can prevent air from flowing freely and affect your reproductive organs. An obstetrician-gynecologist told Bustle, by going commando, you give the labia and vagina time away from fabric. Discomfort aside, wearing panties that are too tight can compress the stomach and cause heartburn, as well as issues with blood circulation. Skipping panties also helps with pimples forming around your rear end. Underwear might trap excess dampness and microbes, so skipping it for a while and letting your sensitive areas release heat can spare you yeast infections and acne. The same can be said for wearing constricting bras over an extended period of time. Going braless allows for better blood circulation, a more toned breast shape, and better breast skin health. If you want to enhance sleep quality, going to bed without any underwear on is a good start. Not only does being naked or underwear-free on the bed lower your body temperature so you can sleep soundly and eliminate toxins overnight, but it also prevents the risks of bacterial growth and yeast infections in the vaginal areas. This also means that you cannot go commando when you're in the gym, where you're supposed to be clad in athletic wear made from rough and stretchy fabrics. Should you choose to wear pants, remember that the vulva is a very delicate area and will always be at risk of abrasions or microcuts from coarse fabric. Therefore, a body hugging straight-line dress or skirt that falls below the knee might be a safer choice. Furthermore, going commando on a daily basis necessitates additional laundry in order to keep your clothing clean from excess perspiration and stink, which may easily rub on your clothes after toilet trips. Skipping underwear also means exposing your sensitive areas to more bacteria and impurities from the environment. To get rid of excess bacteria and minimize risks of yeast infections, take care to shower and disinfect your vaginal area more often. If you're prone to skin irritation, there's another great reason why not wearing underwear might be the right move for you. According to Healthline, going commando can also keep you from exposing your skin to potential allergens. This is more likely to occur for those who wear underwear that isn't breathable, such as lace underwear, but other popular lingerie materials such as silk may also be potentially problematic. This is entirely dependent on your own allergens, and understanding them is paramount. Furthermore, allergist Tim Minardi explains that it isn't actually that uncommon to be allergic to some component of your underwear, whether that's because of the fabric, dye, or other chemicals used to treat it. If you've had reactions that don't have another cause, such as an STI or the laundry detergent you're using, it's certainly worth looking into whether going without underwear might be of some benefit to you. No underwear. Not even slightly.